What's good, family? This is your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to gain stage your beats so you can add more punch and clarity to your beats. All right? So let's begin. So right here, I have a drum beat going. Let me make sure I turn off the effects first. All right, so you see I have this plugin right here. It's just called Meter by Brainworks. I'll leave a link in the description where you could cop this. Um, it's an excellent plugin for metering your tracks because you have more um, you have more uh, data to read out here. Where on the MPC software, on your channels, they give you like inf infinity at the bottom, negative 20, then negative 9, then zero, then positive six. As you can see, you get a lot more here for your buck, all right? But as you can see, the drums are kind of flappy, floppy, and it's peaking right now, right? So that's what's gonna happen normally when you use uh, samples from like Splice or Loop Cloud these samples I got from Loot Cloud, so they're, you know, they're already EQ'd and compressed. And right now they're peaking. With everything going on at zero, everything is peaking. So let's 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 do this. See if I signal the if I uh, solo the kick, that kick is running pretty hot. And that snare is very hot too. But look what happens when I turn down the volume for the snare. You still see the meter going, right? And it's still hot. All right? That's because we haven't gained stage from the beginning. When you start um, leveling your tracks out, you want to start from the very source of your... When you're leveling out your beats, you want to start from the very source where the beat is, where the sounds are coming from. So with the MPC, let's just run that snare. If you come up here to program mode, let's move this over a little bit. We're going to slide this over to where it says sample layers. Now right here, Right here, when you hit your pad, see, now you have a level right here where the sample layer is. That's where the start of your sound source is with your um, drums when you load them in. Most people will go for the pad right here. Don't even go for that. Come over here where it says level. And you'll see when I start turning this down, you'll start to see the level come down on the meter. And I'm sorry for the delay, y'all. That's the, uh, I'm sorry for the delay. That's the buffer. I had to raise it just, you know, just to do this video. So I hope you like the video. Please subscribe and comment below and watch this. All right, now I'm going to lower it.
I like my I like my snare around you know negative fifteen, negative fifteen, negative fourteen, negative thirteen. Uh, my kick I usually put at like negative ten or negative twelve. So now we have this we have the snare leveled out where we want. Now I'm gonna adjust the kick. So we're gonna solo the kick and. And we're gonna mute the snare. So let's hit the let's hit the kick button, and we're gonna lower this level down until we hit about negative twelve, negative ten, somewhere around there. Before we do that, let me just show you how we how loud the kick is going into our first plugin. My fault, y'all. It's, it's acting a little quirky here. There we go. So now if we play the kick. Let me try to lower this buffer because this buffer size is killing me. Hold on. Yeah, that high buffer size is causing everything to move so slow. All right, so let's try this again. And I don't have any—I don't have any process going on here. All I have is a little high pass filter on the kick. That's it. Now watch the kick level drop. Now let's put the kick and the snare together. And we still have a lot of headroom to play with when we do the, the hi hats. Click the hi hat, drop the level down. And you just want to make sure that's lower than your kick and your snare, just sitting in the background. All right. So now if I hit reset the peaks, I'm peaking at about negative nine, all right? So that's that's cool. We're not overloading our plugins now. Nice, now we got a lot more headroom.
all right so now we have a healthy signal going into our first plugin that's a it's a console plugin you know if you know me I, you know I like consoles and now we have a transit designer so if you want to add if you want to add a little bit more punch to your your drums just you add a little attack Okay, I gotta raise it back up. This is nuts. Okay, so with the transit designer, if you add a little bit more attack to it, it'll give it a lot more punch. And the sustain will take away the, um, the sustain will subtract or add more of the end of the kick or the end of the sample. So like if I bring this uh, sustain down, listen to the kick and the snare. Now wait till I bring the sustain up. You get a lot more tail of the kick, the snare, and the hi-hat. So if you wanna take that uh, away and give it a little bit more punch. And then when you add the attack, you could um, compensate by lowering the output gain. Bypassed. On. And you also have a parallel uh, mix here. So if you want to add some of the dry signal back in. All right. So yeah, this, that's how I start gain staging for my beats so I could level them out and have everything sounding uh, crisp and sounding um, non-distorted going into my plugins, all right? I hope you learned something from the video. I'm so sorry about having to go back and forth with the, uh, with the buffer size. Um, like I said, I got an old computer, 2014, I'm trying to save up for a new one, something 2023 at least. Uh, 64 gigs of RAM so I could run these plugins like I really want to show y'all. There's so much I want to show y'all that I just can't right now. But um, I hope you got the gist of this video. If you did, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you need plugins, hit my link in the description below. If you need drum sounds, if you're new to the channel, make sure you get my free drum kit. If you've been here before, go to plugin boutique for plugins go to loopmasters.com for drum sounds and go to loop cloud check out loop cloud get a free trial of that um if you need to set up a website go to my link in the description below if you want to start selling beats go to my description below all right this is your man jimmy conway beastfullyricist.com music production tips this is gain staging in the mpc software and i'm out peace